Hello, hello everyone. Hey guys. How are all of you doing? Hopefully you guys well. Sorry, just gonna adjust the microphone. It should have been prepared before that. Here we go. We are now ready to go. Matlock. Hello Matlock. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Matlock? How's your day going? Right, so first things first. What are we gonna do? Is we're gonna change to the Derry Longhorn. And I don't know if you guys watched the last episode for the stream. Playing War of War uh, War Thunder right now? Oh wow. Which uh, what do you play like tanks or um, airplanes? What's your uh, What's your like favorite uh, favorite game game mode in that? Alright, so first things we're gonna do, we're gonna delete this trailer. Absolutely hate it. I know we're gonna lose money. But I don't wanna see the trailer in my life ever again. We kinda tested the theory out that uh, Daniel um, pitched uh, last time. Whether the 8th slot trailer is usable for this mission and the answer is... It's absolutely not usable, so... Good riddance, we said to the trailer. Don't wanna see it again. You play both nice um there's a new i don't know if you're like into war gaming stuff but there's a new war gaming game that is being um developed at the moment cold war something cold war i can't remember what it's called something with the cold war and the best i can describe that game is um call of duty with tanks um but uh yeah, I've, I've played a little bit of War Thunder, seemed very grindy, I think I got to like rank 3 or 4, I can't remember in terms of... I think I had like a Panzer 4, like a German tank. I was aiming for the Tiger but Tiger 1, but I never got that far, I think Panzer 4 was the... Um, the most I was able to grind. It seemed super grindy. Ouch. You've got 1400 hours in that game? Oh wow. Is it safe to say you have all the vehicles? Is it safe to say that you have all the vehicles, Matlock? Alright, what else do we need for this block alpha? Wooden planks and concrete blocks. So the concrete blocks are here. And the wooden planks need to be crafted, right? Aha, uh -huh, but not here. Can't craft here. Wooden planks, wooden planks, wooden planks. Craftable here. And they are. Okay. Let's jump in one of those vehicles. For example. Oh, for example. For example, for example, here. Yeah, where is it? Where is it? I think it was a Mac, wasn't it? I think it was a Mac. Here we are. It was a Mac. Okay. Alright, let's see what we need for those uh, wooden plankies. With a bit of luck, we might even have all the materials here. Look at this. Look at the surface of this. Oh my god. This sawmill had seen better days, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, so t there's two wooden planks in there. And we can craft as well, because we have medium logs in there. Okay. That sounds legit. That sounds legit. No, not yet. I like doing lots of different nature uh, na nations to like rank five. Okay, nice. That's I respect that. Do you like that game, Matlock? Well, obviously you do because you play it. But what's your uh, what's your opinion on the state of the game? We have a cheeky brigadier here. There's no fuel in that. Um, one thing... Alright, let's have a look at block alpha. Sorry, guys. Block alpha, block alpha, block alpha. Where's the contract, right? Block alpha. Let's find it. Block alpha, that one. Mm, 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's jump back in it. What I didn't check is whether I need to craft it or there was two there. Maybe I did check it just for good. Ah, okay. We have medium look. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now it's all clear. Now it's all clear. Hi, Hank. Hello, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, Hank? Welcome, welcome. How is your day going? Hopefully, uh, another SnowRunner fan. Hopefully, Hank, another SnowRunner fan. I uh, can't remember seeing you in previous streams, Hank, so hopefully... Uh, with a bit of luck, we're attracting the right audience. Uh, hello, trailer. Here we go. I was going to say, why did not did not attach the first time? Uh, can I go around? You're a fan. Nice. Nice, Hank. What's your favorite truck, Hank, in the game? What's your, like, go-to truck every time? I'm kind of going to throw this trailer to the, uh, to the main road and leave it there, because we're going to need it for refueling uh, purposes. Uh, later You have changed your name from Voidy. Oh nice. I think I remember Voidy. I think you've been in previous streams Haven't you Voidy or I should call you Hank from now on. I think I've seen you in previous streams <clears throat> They need to fix guns on planes because uh, the guns are so inconsistent what they miss a lot of they miss a lot of shots all right, what's the best way to go there? Obviously through here, okay. Let's go. Oh, damage, damage is, is inconsistent, understand. I understand Matlock. All right, let's go pick up them wooden planks. And that should be, we'll, run, we'll then run the six to pick up the concrete blocks and that should be that should be uh that should be it for the block alpha and we can start on block beta then block alpha absolutely kick our bot uh bot i mean to say butt i don't know what bot is that's a robot right <laughs> but yeah but uh, block alpha absolutely kicked our butt last time so um we'll try and uh We'll try and do a better job of block uh, block beta, but block alpha was actually... <laughs> I was hindered by that 8 slot cargo trailer. I don't think it, it was a good choice to have that, so... I feel like we can do better by overloading. Absolutely, I can feel that. And I'm sure we will do better. Be better by having one wheel on the snow, right? Instead of mud. Uh, I have lots of favorite trucks. Mag Defense, Kenworth, this uh, this big one, some Zix. Yeah, all of the Zixes are nice. Even the little 566 is nice, right? Um, Kenworth is brilliant truck. And Mac, yeah. Uh, Hank, I'm using Mac all the time. So we're in Amore at the moment. And look, my Hank is here. A little bit bruised and beaten, but I use that truck all the time. It's really, really good. Like, really, really good. Right, let's go pick up them uh, wooden planks. <clears throat> let's get them wooden planks. Shame I don't have a crane here. But uh, we're gonna have to pay. We have to pay for auto load, which is not ideal. Before I, before I check, if we need medium planks in the future, for one medium lock you get three planks. That's not bad. I can get behind that. That's for sure. Yeah, all of the sixes are really nice trucks, aren't they, Hank? 
All of the sixes are really nice trucks. 605R Mastodon. Um, no, sorry, 605R plus the Mastodon. Even the 566A. Really nice trucks. I like all of them. Hmm. Right. Mastodon is brilliant, yeah. Absolutely. The ver versatility of that truck is insane. It can do any job in the game. Literally any job you can throw at it, it can do. Mastodon is absolutely brilliant. I agree with you there. Oops. Bad driving by me. Yeah, it almost get it almost goes better if I stay out of the uh, stay out of the mud, like go go in the snow a little bit. It almost does better, right? Not almost, definitely, right? Definitely does better. Do a little shortcut there. Hopefully, not flip over. That wouldn't be cool. Although I kind of got myself in a in a peculiar situation here. There we go. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Kind of risked it for a biscuit over there, didn't I? I kind of did that risk it for a biscuit. Fortunately, we survived. The old brigadier. So the brigadier at the moment cannot uh, <clears throat> equip the, the new JAT tires, the DLC tires, but uh, with season 12 update, guys, this truck will be able to get the new tires as well so it will be a really really good truck well not really good truck but it will be a good truck right we can call brigadier a good truck no, no shame in that i have returned uh, to amur after closing out scandinavia and this map is different <laughs> in what way hank in, w in what way like in a good way different or in a bad way i know it's uh can be challenging right oh wow there's a bit of damage there it's okay Brigadier is a tough truck, it can take it. Ouch. Ouchie, ouchie. Alright, so after this, we're gonna have a quick sneak peek at block beta and we're gonna go from concrete blocks with the Mastodon and bring some starter materials for block beta. Difficult in my opinion is the most pain in the ass. Most pain in the ass. Um, I agree with you there. I agree with you there, Hank, but also it's... Um, also, I don't know, it can be enjoyable. I find it also enjoyable. Maybe it's me being... Uh, maybe it's me being, uh, what's the word here? Like a masochist, you know, enjoying the pain, but uh, I kind of dig it, you know? Kind of dig it. It gives me a nice challenge, I think. Right. Uh, where did we leave the fuel, by the way? On the other side. Which is not cool. Okay. So block and beta. What are we gonna need for block beta? We're gonna need large pipe, medium pipe, small pipe, concrete slabs, metal beams, cement, you name it. Okay. What does this location give us? But I love this map same. Cement uh gives us cement and concrete blocks. Cement and concrete blocks. gonna need four cement okay so we're gonna bring uh, we're gonna bring two concrete blocks four cement and concrete slabs are not here are they hmm okay uh, what's the feel like chief Fuel is a little bit low, but I think we can make it to the fuel station. Let's go. 
<laughs> but I love this map. Yeah, same here. Same here. There's nothing... Nothing wrong with the map. Uh, it's absolutely fine, I think. Uh, let's have a look, quick look. What's happening? Right, okay. Right, so... Two concrete blocks, four cement. And then maybe even medium pipes if there's enough... Um, if there's enough crafting materials, I can't remember. Uh, challenging and what is this about, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That's why we, I think that's why we enjoy the game. We, you know, when we damage the truck or we flip over with the truck or we see the contract that uh, requires a lot of materials, we like. We kind of like swear as well and say, oh, the game is crap and whatever. Oh my god, like this is unbelievable. Why is it so difficult? But like deep down, we actually love love the game. Deep down, right? That's why we continue play, play to play it and that's why we're coming back to it. That's why we are coming back to it. That's what it's all about. Absolutely, Hank. What's the percentage? Uh, what's your completion percentage on this map, Hank? Uh, at the moment, I think I'm on 66. 65 percent. I'm on 65. Also, let me check. Do I have enough repair points? Because I'm smashing this truck left, right, and center. I only have a little bit left. Oh my god. You're like 90 on a more? Wow. Wow, Hank. Absolutely smashing it, mate. Absolutely smashing it. Where's my seat adjustment? Let me just adjust the seat a little bit, guys. There you go. Yeah, you're absolutely smashing it, Hank. Almost finished, right? It's gonna be rocket launch soon for you. gonna be a rocket launch for you soon <laughs> I finished all contracts and what do you... so you're doing side missions yeah okay Almost done, Hank. Almost done. So contests as well. You know the time contests. You you done those as well. Yeah, but it was it wasn't such a good idea to go through water. I should have gone through that little island, didn't I? Okay, I'll I'll, um, I'll do that when I come back the same way. Alright, so first things we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to visit the fuel station and get a bit more fuel because the scout trailer on the roof has none. Uh, I think I've taken all of the fuel from my add-ons, so only fuel I have left is in the tank. So we're gonna have to stop at the fuel station first and foremost before we do anything else <clears throat> first and foremost any other games do you uh, you play hank or just uh, snow runner Is the SnowRunner your main game, basically? That's what I'm asking. Or you play different games? 
I don't think we should ha I don't think we should take any more damage here. I think we'll be fine. Suspension is a little bit low on uh, on the points. On the HP, I guess we could call it. Suspension is a little bit low on HP, but I don't think we should take any damage here. Oh, hey, Aldrar. Chest, Aldrar. How are you doing, buddy? Long time no seen. Well, last week, I think, but you just briefly came in to say hello, so. Nice to see you, Aldrar. Lots, uh, lots of games, but Snowrunner is the most engaging. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that, Hank. Are you excited about Expeditions, Hank, or no? Snowrunner and uh, War Thunder are the main games for Matlock. Very nice. So when both games are grindy, Matlock, you need you need a chill game where you can just jump in and you know just have fun, relax a little bit. War Thunder grindy, Snowrunner grindy. Bartosh, hello Bartosh. How is your day going, Bartosh? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think it's way quicker just like to go through through the snow, right? You like the grind? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. This is the sense of achievement at the end of the grind, isn't it? So nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, right, fuel, fuel, fuel. Done, done, done. Now let's transfer that fuel into the scout. Transfer that fuel into the scout. Carry a trailer on the top. There. Filled, filled, filled. Filled the mastodon back up. Good to go. Absolutely good to go. <laughs> That's like that pile of snow is there for a reason, right? Uh, it was a good day, thank you. I had uh, I heard you speaking in Polish. Nice. Me speaking in Polish? I don't really speak in Polish, Bartosz, but I know a few words. Well, like literally a couple of words. Like, I know Cześć, which is, uh, I think, hello. Um, and also I like pierogi, which is uh, dumplings. I love pierogi, Polish pierogi. Oof. With the cabbage, very nice. Very nice dumplings. Also, those taillights on that Mastodon is bright as hell. If you're ever in doubt, just stick it in high gear. Look at it go. No problemo. Um, don't know if this expedition game is on sales. Oh, it's not. A, um, you can pre-order it if you want. It releases in beginning of March, so six weeks, maybe five weeks, six I think weeks, right? Releases in six weeks. You can pre-order it if you want, but um, it's not out yet, obviously. Not out yet. Okay, first things first, concrete blocks. Concrete blocks, please, sir. Right, we need two of those. You saw some pre uh, gameplay? Yeah, me too, me too. Um, it was hard to get excited because it seemed uh, like just scouting in SnowRunner with some, um, I'm gonna call them, I'm gonna call them like cheats, probably not cheats, but you know, like easy, easier things like you can unflip your truck and you can place the cargo wherever you want. You can have like a little bridge that you can deploy to cross the gap. So 
seemed like a easier seemed like an easier game sorry <clears throat> but um you're from poland too nice 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 a lot of uh, i have a lot of polish viewers which is very very nice um maybe i should learn polish who knows also do we need more concrete blocks for for beta concrete blocks no concrete slabs we do but not concrete blocks uh-huh what about metal beams i know where to collect those what else is available here cement yes we said we cement right we need cement four of those we need four of those Four of those, like so. Another one, please, sir. Blinding the camera is out of this world. Here we are. Like that. More cement. I think we said four, right? Yeah, four. It, it, it was four. It was four. I don't know why I'm questioning myself. It was four. One backpack, and we'll take one as a overload. We'll take one as an overload, just like that. Okay. Let me quickly stop at the at the uh, depot across the road to see what is available because I keep forgetting what's available to craft there and stuff so let's have a look there um so if we bring one more s uh, is there medium pipes that we need for the beta medium pipes and small pipes okay but to craft but to craft medium pipes we need uh-huh metal beams we don't need to craft bricks do you have this new truck uh, from Carolina map? Uh, FEM? FEM3780? Yes, I have that on PTS. Um, and let me tell you what it's... Yeah, it's FEM3780. Uh, and let me tell you what, that truck is amazing. I'm not even... I'm not even joking, Hank. That truck is amazing. Better than Kenworth, that's for sure. Okay, wooden planks. We, we know where to get wooden planks. Concrete slab we're not sure of. So two small pipes. I mean three small pipes in total. Where do I get a large pipe? Here? Yes. Okay. And concrete slab there as well. We'll have to stop there and see what we need. Maybe we should do that now. While we're here. I saw your video uh, comparing FEM to the other big trucks. Oh, nice. Thank you for uh, watching that video. Hank, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a comparison. That truck is just amazing. The only downside with that truck, right, is that it cannot... Uh, it cannot do... It cannot do logging. It cannot have a logging crane. It cannot have any logging attachments. So that's the only kind of downside for that truck. It's not really like a downside, but... I guess if that truck could do logging as well, then it would be like too strong, right? Oop. Pay attention where I'm going, first of all. Fuel consumption. Fuel consumption, when I played it, fuel consumption was really bad, yeah. But it got slightly, slightly improved. So I think it's on par with uh, the Kenworth now. It's on par with Kenworth. Like pretty much same as Kenworth. Um, but, you know, the other trucks like uh, Mac Defense, that's like really, really thirsty truck, so. 
but we don't mind because it's so good off road, right? So it's uh, it's give and take with those kind of scenarios. Oh my god, this truck is fast. Almost slid into the almost slid into the snowy grave. Same fuel consumption as twin steer? No, a little bit worse. A little bit worse. A little bit worse, Hank. A little bit worse. Right, where is this crafting zone? Here. Okay. Right. So to craft large pipe, I need one medium pipe. Okay, so that means I'm gonna have to craft one and bring one here. Okay. Metal beams were okay on Demand package sand and concrete blocks. Okay, so that's that's exactly why we need to bring one more extra blocks and one more extra cement. One more extra blocks and uh, one more extra cement. Glad I'm glad I looked at this. Uh, one more extra cement and one more blocks. Okay, I'm glad I looked at this. Metal rolls though. Shall I take one from here? I think I could, right? Where's the loading platform for this? It's there, okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it, right? We're gonna take one metal roll because I think we have too many here anyway. We'll try to be as smart as possible with this mission. Whether it's gonna work or not, I don't know. You tell me. <clears throat> right, come here, little roll. You're going with me. You are going with me, little roll. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on. Yeah, we are. Perfect. Alright, so we got that. Now we need uh, one more. One more cement and one more blocks. Lessons! Hello, hello, buddy. What's up, Lessons? How are you doing? Nice to see you, Lessons. How's your day going, buddy? Right. Uh, cement and blocks. <clears throat> right, one more cement. Up you go. Need to place it kinda stable, right? Try it at least. And blocks. Boom, easy does it. Easy does it. Even probably gonna write like have it over my cab like so like so uh good sir just finding the rest of the upgrades in drowned lands well that's uh that's a bit of a challenge isn't it but those upgrades are really really worth it lessons so Basically, most of like the important upgrades uh, for the for the sort of 
the Russian side of the trucks are in drowned land, so... Certainly have to explore them and retrieve them. Right, whether we're gonna have to reload this or not, that that's the other question. Hopefully not. Hopefully they stay in there. Like the good cargo that they are. <laughs> Yeah, uh, lessons and we're, what we're doing, we're doing uh, block alpha and then uh, we're gonna do block beta immediately after that, so... We're uh, doing a big, two big, big missions <coughs> in the uh, Chernokomensk region. Hopefully we, today's gonna go a bit smoother than it went uh, with the first leg of block alpha on, uh, was it Friday last week? You never purchased the DLC. It's a, it's a, a lot of people call it the DLC of pain. <laughs> I, I might have just made that up, but you know, it resonates with people this map because it's, uh, it's difficult. <clears throat> it's definitely a challenge. Definitely a challenge. Lessons. You know where Yukon? <clears throat> I don't know if you played Yukon. Yukon just requires a lot of materials, and Wisconsin is similar. Just requires a lot of materials to one place. This requ require requires a lot of materials to one play to one place, but also like a challenging terrain. So you barely discovered Snowrunner a little over a year ago. It's crazy, right? Because how you jumped into the game that is already two years old at that point, and uh, and you enjoying it, right? <laughs> There's only two games that I enjoy at the moment. Um, no, I enjoy a lot of games. That's not true, actually. But the ones I really want to sort of play for foreseeable is uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and this one. Obviously we'll play Expeditions or whatever when that comes out, but um, these are the main, I guess. Uh, I finished the base game and then Season 9 started. Season 9, low-key lessons. A lot of people don't talk about Season 9 in, in sort of good in good light, but Season Nine is low key my top three. Season nine is absolutely my uh, top three. Ontario was really nice. Hello, Chan. Hello, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How is your day today, Chan? How is your day today? Hopefully, uh, hopefully feeling a bit better. Hopefully, your day is well, Chan. Not good. Sorry to hear that, buddy. What's uh, what's the matter? If you don't ask me, if you don't mind me asking. Ch Chani, you're not having you're not having good time recently, are you? Sorry to hear that. Since you started there, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't know. I I enjoyed the Ontario season nine was really really good for me. Hello, David. Hello, hello. You know what? We might even we might even make it with all this cargo. Uh, I won't go into detail, but I'm gonna get stronger meds. Well, uh, absolutely, do what you have to do, Chan. But uh, I do hope you get better, and I wish you I wish you get better as well. <coughs> I truly do. I know a lot of people who's going through um, or, or who has uh, medical di difficulties and even mental difficulties and you know I, I know how hard well not I don't know personally but I imagine how hard that can be so I wish you to get better soon JJ says hi well if you're going back to JJ stream also say Telemenis said hi Absolutely pass my hi to JJ as well, David. Mr. Sheep, member for six months already. Oh, time flies when you're having fun. Thank you, Mr. Sheep, for being the member. Six months. Congratulations on being an awesome person and uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Oh, Mr. Sheep has a new, has a new badge for the six months. 
Mr. Sheep has new badge for being six months. Golden joystick. Nice. Shiny badge. Absolutely, Mr. Sheep. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, Mr. Sheep? How are you doing, Mr. Sheep? A lot of wheels been happening here, but well, we're making progress. We're crawling forward. Why are you using the fine-tuned gearbox? Because uh, this is the best gearbox for... Oh no, got stuck on the... Got stuck on the rock. I'm doing good, I've just uh, got back from the gym. Oh nice, what uh, what day was... What day was... What day was... Um, sorry. What was the gym day today? Leg day, upper body, biceps, triceps, back. What was it? Yeah, definitely shiny new badge, uh, Mr. Sheep. Thank you for uh, for the support. Legato76. Hello, Legato. Welcome to the stream, Legato. Long time no seen. When I say long time, I mean like four days, right? <laughs> nice to see all of you guys here. Uh, how's your day going? Yeah, the day is going uh, all right. Come, uh, got back from got back from work. Uh, Monday was a bit slow, but yeah, I think everything's uh, went according to plan. So consider it a good day. Push day today, chest, shoulder, and triceps. Oh my god, the upper body, the upper upper body screams in pain. For me, anyway, just listening to that. <laughs> uh, I still have fun in Wisconsin. Just got. Two trucks stuck in a swamp uh, and nearly ran out of fuel. Still, could be worse. Jeremy Clarkson, absolutely. Jeremy Clarkson goes, oh well. Oh no, I think he goes like any, anyway, like he talks about something, sees James, James May or uh, Hammond's car on fire and he just goes, anyway. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, remind me not to read the chat. Oh no no no. The fuel's knackered. Not to fuel the engine. Repair, repair, repair. Repair the engine. Price is averted. I need to I need to top up on I need to top up on fuel, right? Also I can drop these here. We'll need them for block beta, but we can drop them for now. Plunk. Plunk. And also... That might stay on there. If that stays on there, I'll, I'm not touching it. Let's not get bogged down on that. Oh no. I'll pick that up, don't worry, I'll pick that up. Wait, it's under my... It's under my trailer now. Only I can do that. Put the cargo under my trailer, right? Only I can do that. <clears throat> nice little cutscene. See, they don't do cutscenes anymore. It's, it's like taking them a good amount of time to do that. Are you going to be playing Season 12 when it comes out? Immediately. Immediately, Mr. Sheep. That season is promising to me. That season looks really, really good. So I'm going to be playing that immediately. I don't know how far we're going to be with the, with the SnowRunner. Oh my god, that's... That cargo is kicking my butt. And I'm just damaging my truck for no reason. Yeah, we're gonna be playing season 12 immediately. Cutscenes uh, are cutscenes are awesome. Cutscenes were awesome lessons. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, cutscenes cut these days are lacking. Yeah, absolutely lacking these days. They don't do them like they uh, used to, right? So hopefully, uh, hopefully, 
in a year four, uh, the cutscenes will be better. I've been playing some uh, season eleven, and the cutscenes uh, in that may as well not exist. Just, just blink and it's built. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So that's that's what I mean. Like, like this season has like literal literal rocket launching, right? How cool is that? Why can't they do that anymore? They can, but I guess they won't. They better have a good reason why they're not doing that. Hopefully they do more of that in the future, right? I think we all... It gives you like a nice sense of achievement when you do that. How far along are you in Season 11, Mr. Sheep? And also, Mr. Sheep, have you finished Season... Uh, um, have you finished Season 9? I remember you started... Uh, you started watching my channel of, um, when season 9 dropped. Have you finished that, uh, Mr. Sheep, or not? Block beta. Alright, we can start dropping some of that up now. We can start dropping off some of that. If, I'm not saying we will, but if we complete block beta today, I'll be over the moon. But that is a big if. A massive if, maybe even? We'll see. There's a lot of crafting in the world, so... We'll try our best. We'll see how far we get. If you say something to JJ, I'm happy, but he didn't even know you're alive. Oh, okay. That is cool. Uh, I have not finished season 9 as I went to play some of the older seasons midway through. I'm at 37% in season 11. Also, you managed to complete a good chunk of it. You managed to complete a good chunk of it, which is... Uh, wait, where's the drop-off point? Oh, there. that's going to be challenging to... What a load. That's not as bad as it could be, uh, Travis. That's That could, could be a lot wor worse, Travis. That's uh, I mean, if we... We've done a lot more materials in one go than this, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a load. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to the stream, Travis. By the way, how's your day going? So, tell me, these are breakable? Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Oh, what is happening to that? Most powerful horn in the world. It's breaking the boxes and the fences. What? How did I take so much damage from a little fence? Uh, I've been taking Snowrunner break. Been playing Gates of Hell. Oh, Legato. Buddy, my man. Gates of Hell is so cool. Um... I got all DLCs for it, for it like Liberation, Ostfront, uh, Scorching Earth. Um, in fact, I've been just thinking about it today. We'll, I'll, we'll be streaming that on Thursday, so. Uh, great, is the fuel trailer packed? Yeah, the fuel trailer is packed, Taylor. You can see a little uh, wheel chokes under each, under each wheel. Um, the key with that, Taylor, is, um, or Travis, I should call you. Um, is to for all three wheels to touch uh, the roof of the truck, and then you can uh, then you can pack. It's very good, yeah. Especially if you like World War II stuff, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, feel free to to, to join Thursday stream, um, Legato, if you're around. But we already done one stream of that game, and like I enjoyed myself so much. Um, so feel free uh, feel free guys to join me on Thursday for a bit of gates of hell super addictive and like really well made like really well made all, right, all these boxes under my wheels can absolutely ruin my truck so I need to be careful cement 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 uh, concrete slab 
Oh, concrete slab needs to be crafted. Yeah, small pipes need to be crafted. Medium pipes. No, small pipes we have. Medium uh, pipes need to be crafted. Um, don't I have more cement? Okay. Um, either one works. Lol, what time for Thursday? Um, so, 8.30 my time now. 8.30 p.m. So, um, 7, 7.30 is when I usually stream. Uh, 7.30 BST. So an hour ago on Thursday <laughs> that makes sense oh we'll do that's why I bought it what based on my uh, off my first stream that's that's really cool that's nice legato I done like a one stream and I convinced you convinced you to buy although I didn't do any convincing but it looked like a fun game that's that's all about that's what it's all about if I can play a game and it looks fun to you guys damn Mission accomplished. Uh, almost finished Fallout in one week. Oh wow, that's that's some grinding, David. Some serious grinding right there. So sales and snagged it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I bought all the like liberation and uh, scorch shirts and all of those. And, um, I, I saw those on sale. I, I had a base game, obviously, but I saw those on sales, and I thought, man, needed, needed in my life. Because <clears throat> initially I just bought uh, Ostfront. Damn, this uh, this snow is quite intense, right? Also need repair points ASAP. Uh, good thing I use Zulu time regularly. Anyone else curious? 2 p.m. EST. <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for converting that, Travis. Travis, have you played Gates of Hell? Um, it's uh, it's a strategy, uh, World War II strategy game. Like really, really cool. We done like one uh, we done one stream so far, but it's. Uh, pretty awesome also finished dying light in one to two weeks with school oh wow in gaming non-stop david uh i've finished uh first dying light i never played the second one haven't got a chance probably won't i have not is it turn baits no it's uh rts um real-time strategy it's rts but the sort of what what takes it uh, or what it how it separates itself uh, from another strategy games is you can take control of any uh, infantry or a tank or artillery you can basically take over and it becomes like a like first person shooter pretty cool <clears throat> what did we oh we said we're gonna need concrete slab crafting okay so concrete blocks we have cement we have why did we our oh, metal roll we brought it here for that reason for large pipe okay so let's upload all of that here um upload all of that here unload 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 cool Uh, I need to go see you and have a nice stream. Thank you, Hank. Thank you for joining the stream, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time, buddy. Thank you. Uh, sounds like totally accurate battle simulator in that way. I've I've played a little bit of uh, totally accurate battle simulator, and that uh, with like pla not plastic, but like um, what's the word here? Like a like a gooey physics, right? I don't even know how to. How to pronounce it, but basically red team goes versus uh, blue team, and there's uh, all ages. Um, so you can do like a stone age fighting, you can do like medieval fighting, right? I, I think I've tried it a little bit of that game. And uh, it's a little bit different, it's a bit more uh, realistic, I guess. Um, okay, large pipe, medium pipe. 
metal beams. <clears throat> okay, where's the second rubber? Yeah, rubber. That's the word I was looking for. Where's the second uh, sideboard? Did we only had one sideboard? But we had two sideboards. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm dreaming. Let's fuel. Hmm. Maybe we only we only had yeah, maybe we only had one. <clears throat> okay, let's go bring two wooden planks, I guess, right? What's in here by the way? That might be an easier run. One metal road, one concrete slab. Oh, it had one concrete slab here. Damn. You're gonna need fuel? No, but we have metal. We need metal rolls. <clears throat> okay, let me quickly... Let's actually take some fuel from this bad boy. Let's quickly take the two wooden planks back. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Yeah, I think uh, Gates of Hell is a little bit more, uh, like, sort of realistic. It's it's more, um, <clears throat> more of a simul... I would, shall I call it a simulator? I guess it's not a simulator, but it's very, uh, very authentic. In a, in a sort of World War II kind of way. <clears throat> right, yeah, so we're gonna do two wooden planks. With this bad boy. Game is ruthless. Yeah, you can you can be not graphic, but it can be a bit uh, sort of hard sometimes. I tend to lose a lot. Yeah, absolutely. It's like uh, you deploy your tank into I don't know, let's say a forest or something, and just randomly like gets knocked out, and you don't know where you got shot from. Uh, not as realistic as hell. Let's lose. Uh, it comes pretty close comes pretty close but it's it focuses on strategy more than uh, first person first person obviously hell let loose is a lot more realistic um, but yeah the hell let loose the some of the teammates are like are hardcore like bet oh, hardcore like veterans right uh, like actual veterans playing that and radio uh, radio comes and everything's pretty insane in uh, in the uh, in hell and let loose. Auto cannons and machine guns are my bane. Always suppressed by machine guns. Hey Grinch. Uh, wooden planks. Alright, load them. On my truck, wooden planks too. Alright. How are you doing, Grinch? Welcome to the stream. Grinch stole the Christmas. Have you ever tried Call of Duty World War II? Um, I think I've tried Call of Duty... Um, hmm. Call of Duty... World... Is it World at War? Something it was called? Like a really old Call of Duty. I think it was the probably first Call of Duty that had like zombie mode in it. Um, first time you're here, nice, <laughs> nice Grinch. Welcome, uh, welcome for the first time into the stream. Hopefully you have a good time here. Uh, do you play SnowRunner Grinch or you just randomly stumbled upon the stream? How did you find the stream? That's the question. Ooh. World at War, yeah, yeah, that was a good, that was a good Call of Duty, I remember that. Spent countless hours on that, really good, really good Call of Duty. All right. It's crazy how this truck, once it's like fully loaded, it's better than having no load on the back. I guess it helps with the track. The weight helps with the traction, right? That has to be it. All right. Okay. I don't know why I went here. Uh. Where they have a zombie stage in the theater, I love that one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think the first, the first one was in the in like in the shack, right? 
in the, in the shack, like in a little wooden house. Ghost Druskic. Hello, hello, Ghost. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome back. Welcome back, Ghost. How's your day going? Uh, the new ER. New ER? I'm lagging, not good. Why are you lagging, Grinch? Your internet's lagging? Oops. Oopsie daisy. Don't, I had to like slow down there because uh, I was afraid of taking a lot of damage. You guys lagging as well? Hmm. That is no good. Lagging is no bueno. Uh, I'm just quickly glancing at things. Seems like... Um, don't worry about pronunciation of my uh, surname. Just call me Ghost. <laughs> okay, okay, Ghost. I'm gonna call you Ghost. Just don't ghost me, please. <laughs> Davy Nicole. Hello, Davy. Hello, Davy Nicole. How are you? How are you doing, Davy? Welcome to the stream. Loads of you guys tuning in today. Very nice to see. Very nice to see. Hopefully, uh, the stream is not lagging anymore. Maybe there was just a little hiccup uh, in the internet. I'm not lagging. Thank you for clarifying that, Mr. Sheep. I always get spanic because uh, I had my fair share of um, I had my fair share of um, technical difficulties. Let's call them. Uh, I'm going to see JJ. Anything you want me to say to him? Yeah, uh, can you give him the message? Uh, ask him. Does he want uh, Does he want the bump in the back? He'll know what I know. That sounds weird, but he'll he'll know what I mean. <laughs> um. Fine, Ty, you? Yeah, absolutely, Davey. I'm also good. Also good. Thank you for asking. Uh, just enjoying a bit of SnowRunner, doing some heavy, heavy missions today. So we managed to finish uh, Block Alpha, which was absolutely monster of the mission. And now we're doing Block Beta. So, yeah, absolutely. Living the dream. Thank you. It's all good now? Yeah, maybe it was just a little, uh, little blip, Grinch. Hopefully just a little blip. I had a lag earlier, but it's fine now. Yeah, sorry guys, probably was on my, well, most likely was on my end, but um, seems like it's all rectified now, so it was just a little blimp. Uh, to be honest, you're such an underrated YouTuber, bro. <laughs> really, Ghost? Oh man, you, you're gonna make me blush. You're gonna make my cheeks blush. Really? Such underrated? That means a lot. That means a lot, Ghost. Cheers for that, buddy. Thank you. There's a there's a million and one YouTuber out there, so I'm sure they're all underrated. But uh, I appreciate the kind words. Um, we'll uh, we'll we'll try and we'll try and grow a little bit. Um, they have a bigger reach on on the on the platform, but uh, we'll see <coughs> we'll see where we get to. Right, we'll see where we get to. I think so too. Oh, guys, you you're too nice. You guys are too nice. Uh, right, so we are going to. Where are we going to? We're we going to. We need to pick up some more materials, right? Probably gonna go to this warehouse, pick up concrete slab, metal rolls. Is it even worth going that way? Probably. I have fuel there. I wonder what's easier, which way is easier to travel? Hmm. Yes, they're all underrated. They all have great content. Yeah, I mean, there's there's loads of um, there's loads of, loads of good YouTubers uh, with different content, and you know, a lot of people putting hours, uh, hours, days, months, and even years of work. So, he says in the first ten minutes when he got really stuck in Doritos eyes. Oh no. Yeah, Amor is, uh, Amor is tough, isn't it? Amor is tough.
Uh, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I mean, as people spend years on content and stuff like that, and you know, they get small views, um, like small, like uh, not a lot of views, uh, not a lot of sort of uh, recognition. Although they spent years uh, developing the, the sort of the con the, the channel or the uh, their content. So my goal is to just have. Just enjoy the games, have fun, create a few videos for you guys. If you love it, great. If you don't, you know, also great. Uh, at least you guys know, let me know how you kind of feel or whether the video suck or uh, or the stream suck or whatever. You know, I, I'm, I'm fine. I have a thick skin, so I believe all of you guys are because you enjoy watching this kind of content. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate all of you guys being here. Yo, how is it going? Hello, Savage. It is going good so far, but let's uh, let's not jinx it. Let's not jinx it, Savage. Uh, how is your day? How is your day going, Savage? Hopefully, you're good, buddy. Let's refuel. I'm paranoid. We're gonna run out. <clears throat> Um, bum, 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 bum. Lost all your points. Oh no. Oh no, David. Unlucky, buddy. Mr. Sheep have to have some points at the moment. Mr. Sheep have to have some points. Here we go. 129 points. Mr. Sheep is secretly rich. Pretty nice. I finished all contracts in Wisconsin. Just have three contests left to do now oh nice wisconsin you absolutely smashed that macho man randy savage <laughs> absolutely he is macho man when it comes to when it comes to snow runner yeah absolutely so he'll take a savage will be absolutely savage with that uh with the regions he'll take a region he'll like finish it in three days or something um, I really mean that you're underrated, bro. I bought Snowrunner and I love the game so much. It doesn't make me angry at all. It just makes me relaxed. That's what it's all about. That's what gaming is all about. If you play any video game, like I see these like teenagers and young people, um, watch uh, like like watching them play on like YouTube or Twitch or whatever, and they're like raging playing Call of Duty, Apex Legends, or uh, or something like that. So. Um, I don't, re I don't really like get that part. I get the competitiveness and stuff like that, but um, you know, it's uh, it's a game uh, at the end of the day. Play something that doesn't make you angry, right? Oh, lagging again! Yikes! Sorry, guys. Internet, uh, internet. This seems to be uh, seems to be inconsistent for some reason lol I loved it I finished it in I think two weeks oh my god that's some speed running stuff right there that's some speed running right there savage uh, Bartosz is at 77% at the moment uh, but still worst contracts left yeah we always leave the worst for the last don't we yeah no worries no worries David good luck Yeah, sorry about uh, if it's lagging a little bit today, guys, for some reason. Not really sure what's happening. I was kind of hoping it was just a blip, but seems uh, like it keeps, keeps coming back to haunt me. Uh, but the only part I don't like is that I have to buy seasons. Yeah, I mean, that's how they, that's how they make money, right? Get you addicted to... Uh, Get you addicted to the game and then um, get you addicted to the game and then you know you, you kind of have to buy the new seasons. You don't want to miss out on stuff. So the game uh, to me, a game it has to be fun. Absolutely, absolutely, Gato. If it, if you're not having fun, it's like what the hell are you doing with yourself, right? For me, also the other thing is like a sense of achievement. I love like sense of achievement when you, for example, in Snowrunner grind the mission out. 
uh, like we're doing with this block beta and block alpha. You grind the missions out and then, you know, you get like a little cutscene or when you finish the, uh, the, you finish the region 100%. Um, all right, no small pipes. We will have we'll have some metal rolls. I think we pick up maybe three. See ya, Grinch. Thank you for stopping by, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, concrete slab one. Yeah, so we'll pick up concrete slab and concrete slab and three metal rolls. My quality is 720p. <clears throat> Uh, bum, 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 concrete slab. Here we go. Boom! In we go. Pack that bad boy up, and then metal rolls. We need three of those. Three of those bad boys. Here goes one. Minus 240p. Oh no. Oh no, Matlock. Make sure you turn it up. Make sure you turn it up, Matlock. Um, it should be 1080p throughout, but obviously if there's, a, if there's a bit of inconsistency with my internet speed, then obviously... It will lag on 1080, but it should it should for the most part be 1080. Don't watch it on uh, 240 Matlock. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt your eyes, right? 240 is gonna burn your eyes. Mm. Okay. We ready. We are ready. You playing Snow Runner as well? Oh, nice. So you just sort of listening it out. You have 240p as well. Oh, what on earth? And you can't go up? Tell me you can go up, right, Bartosz? Tell me you can go up. You should. We're like streaming at 15... 15,000 kilobits per second, so that should be more than another for 1080p. <clears throat> I need to be sure not to break any suspension components. That wouldn't wouldn't be good at all. Although, does that have <gasps> that has repaired points? I can, but the video will lag. Try now, Matlock. Try now. I think it should be okay now. I think we're uh, over the worst part. Try it now, guys. It should be okay now. Uh, I did not realize you can pack trailers on top of the truck. No way, Legato. You didn't know this? You really didn't know this or are you just trolling me, Legato? It's quite fast downhill, right? It's quite fast downhill. Going uphill is a struggle. You didn't know? Well, now you know, Legato. Now you know, buddy. <laughs> I feel like a ding-dong. Oh, don't be like a ding-dong. 
that's a uh, it's not a well it's not a well sort of um, it's not a well known trick you know not uh, not a lot of ple people know this I guess probably maybe less than half I, I don't even know where I'm pulling pulling these stats from but it's, it's not a, like a really well known trick um, hence I made the videos about it and stuff like that. Oh, don't feel like a ding dong, legato. Does anyone know how many slots the cargo containers are? Uh, so the oversized cargo is uh, four, and normal is two. I would just wedge them onto another trailer. What? What do I? What can I say, Legato? You live and learn, buddy. You live and learn. I'm glad you learned this from. Uh, I'm glad you learned this from my channel. I appreciate it. Is there an entrance? Is there like a back entrance through here or no? Probably not. Maybe fixed now. Don't know what is happening. I probably jinxed it by saying technical difficulties are a thing of a past. Maybe jinxed it. I don't know. We'll see, guys. Kind of restarted like OBS and and everything, so we'll see. I had a, like a strange message pop up saying encode encoder overloaded, so I don't really know what that means. We'll give it another go. We'll give it another go, see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, just the encoder need to be restarted. Fingers crossed. Okay. Alright, so can I craft... Can I craft this... Uh, what was it? Oh, we need medium pipes. We need one medium pipe. Okay, we know what we need. we know what we need to do, right? We know what we need to do. We need to go pick up. Uh, bu -bu 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 I am return. <laughs> nice, thank you, Savage. Um, I'm still here. Doesn't. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Even the technical difficulties don't uh, deter you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I wish I had a truck there to. Hmm. Okay, let's go into Brigadier. Metal beams. Um, small pumps. Concrete slab. We have the concrete slab. Two metal beams. For medium... To craft a medium pipe, I need small pipes. So we need four small pipes in total. Because we need one of the medium pipes to craft that. Okay, do we need cement? We don't need cement. Or do we need cement? I think we need cement. One cement? No, but we have concrete slab, so we don't need. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go upload the rest of my Wisconsin screenshots to the Discord later tonight, because I know uh, people like those. Oh, we love them. We love them, Savage. Especially when you overload like a crazy man. Like a madman. You overload like a madman. How is it now, guys? Better? Hopefully better. Hopefully 1080p. Crisp quality. No more... No more nonsense. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. It's all fine now. 
Well, let's hope it keeps that way, right? You have to restart the video. It was, guys, it, it's not your uh, fault or anything. It's my, it's mine. Uh, it's why I had a message pop up. Uh, encoder overloaded. So, man, I'm probably gonna have to invest uh, invest into because at the moment my capture card is external. Um, it's Elgato HD 60 capture card connected into my streaming PC. So, because that doesn't have a capture card. Mm. So probably the next step I have to do to avoid all of these uh, is to have a proper capture card on my streaming PC. Probably that's what I'm going to have to do. Mm. Decision, decisions, eh? Okay, so to avoid to avoid nonsense to avoid nonsense we're gonna give that little concrete block to the brigadier because it's a smaller rig it can go into it can go into that area way way easier right so let's give it to the old brigadier although didn't succeed in that did I you did 12 metal beams with um, 5060s wow in once brigadier is almost a better white western star I agree I agree, it's not almost, it's definitely better, but you don't get it early game unless... Oh no, I mean, you do get it early game. But I, I always think like you, all of you guys played on hard mode, which is not true, right? So... I just assume everybody plays hard mode like me, but you, you don't, so... Yes, you do get Brigadier early. <laughs> uh, man, my phone had a fit, just got back in. What, uh, what happened, Legado? What kind of fit did it have? You don't play hard mode? Ah, oh, don't blame you. It's fine. Whatever, whatever mode you enjoy, you know, it's fine. Uh, also, guys, what do you think about Royal BM19 Super Lag? That I think that was on my end, Legato. I think that was on my end. So apologies. I think my uh, hardware had a little had a little fit, not your phone. <clears throat> All in one trip wasn't too far though. Uh, just from the Royal Metal Factory to the railway yard. Oh yeah, I know the location. You like the Royal? I love the Royal. Especially with the new JT tires. Ooh, very nice truck. And yes, I know guys, it's not the Zix or five uh, Face Star five thousand six hundred TS, but I still love that truck. Mostly flat, so it wasn't too big of an issue. And that truck is a beast. Face Star five thousand six hundred TS is a beast. Hmm. Okay. Let's think this through. So large pipe, we have everything apart from... Apart from... One mid... We need one medium for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Clear what I need to do, guys. Clear what I need to do. Let's go. Fuel, though. We're gonna need more fuel. Royal has a good mileage fuel, it seems. I used it a bit in Wisconsin, very prone to getting high centered, but it's very good uh, for not having any lockers. Yeah, it doesn't have any diff lock. No diff lock indeed. Maybe. I'm gonna need four small pipes, right? Two metal beams, four small pipes. Should be, should be child's play, really. I think. I 
Although what isn't child's play is my repair points. I have none. And my truck is pretty busted. I don't, know, I don't know what it is about these like quirky little trucks, um, but I do like them. Just notice my suspension health. Look away. Look away, Savage. Nothing to see there. Also, let me reassess. Ah, oh, we'll be fine on fuel. Yeah, I look away from my fuel uh, from my um, suspension HP. <laughs> Nothing to see there. All is good. <laughs> All is good in the hood. One truck I've fallen in love with recently is the As of Seven. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Really good truck, Mister Ship. Um, what uh, what tires do you use on it? Let me ask you. Yeah, that truck is really really good. You got the active suspension in it, boom, amazing. Like active suspension is, is crucial, I would say. Mm. <laughs> everything is fine. What about uh, talking about my suspension? Yeah, 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 everything is perfect. Honky dory, everything's, uh, ouch, ouch. I'm taking all kinds of random damage here. Right, mustn't forget small, four small pipes, two metal beams. I think I can remember that. That's not a, that's not a, like the world's greatest shopping list, is it? I'm not sure I'll be fine with that. Everything is downtown schools will. I used Royal in call up Peninsula. It was good, but a little low on front bumper and a bit unstable. Uh, yeah, I get the un yeah, I get the unstable bit. I get the unstable bit. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a little bit tippy. You have to drive it differently. You can't just uh, carelessly th throw it into corners like I do. Yeah, absolutely, I agree with that. Fair comment. Active suspension and DMHS2. Uh, uh, damn it, I should not read comments while doing that. Uh, do you not use JAT tires, Mr. Sheep? Uh, the roll is somehow more stable with a heavy crane. I don't understand why though. Really? I never I never had a heavy heavy crane on it, but uh, I'll take your word for it, Savage. You seem, you seem like a... Well, I know you're an experienced player, so... <clears throat> with all that overloading you do. I'll take your word for it. You don't have uh, you don't have the tire DLC. Understood. Uh, Mr. Sheep, are you on Steam? Are you on Steamy Steamy, Mr. Sheep? Oh, you're an Epic. Yikes. Oh, who? Put them. Uh, who put them metal beams conveniently there? They were waiting for me. Just a question, uh, Mr. Sheep. Why would you? Uh, why would you go ep epic and not steam? Very interesting uh, decision. I would like to know the backstory. Backstory? Side story? I don't know. I only use it epic as I got it on the release. Oh, I understand. I don't want to rebuy it in Steam. Understandable. Perfectly understandable. Uh, let's actually unpack those. One of the rare epic players that has the Navi Star. Navi Star is a. I mean, if Greta Greta Thunberg 
saw you using Navistar, she would be upset. All that gas. Um, da, 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 small pipes. We need, we need four of the small pipes, don't we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. Yeah, if Greta saw you using that, she would not be happy with you guys. She would be quite frankly disgusted with all that gas usage. Savage, I'm gonna make you proud. You ready, bro? I'm gonna make you proud. Although, it could probably give me tips on how to overload this crap. I mean, put it centrally is probably the beginning of the Greta would not like snow running in general <laughs> yeah there's uh, there's no electric vehicles running oh we oh, yeah, are running over trees breaking bushes yeah yeah you're right she would not like that at all she would find it repulsive Oh no. Oh no. Saved, 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 saved. Hmm, I think saved. Possibly. Possibly saved. And then we're gonna go plonked. Then we're gonna go... Uh, with the trailer, I wouldn't stack it more than two or three high. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Consider it done, kind sir. I'm gonna make you proud here, Savage. Um, although, probably gonna have to unhook the trailer, right? Actually, maybe fine like that. No! Rest in peace. Ripperoni guys Start over I'm trying to be clever. I just put them sideways like this right can be easier Don't know why I have so much rope So much rope and zero hope Boom Alright, let's start over. It was nice for a second. But then it wasn't. Then it was horrible. Horrible. Alright, spin, spin, spin. Wrong way. Start over, shall we? I wish that spinning was quicker. Look how slow that is. Jesus. Takes ages. I'm gonna head head off now. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for the six months. Um, have a good uh, rest of your day or the rest of your evening, Mr. Sheep. And uh, we'll see you soon, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. So much rope and zero hope. <laughs> I'm stealing that. Oh no. Stealing my puns now. Nice. I think we're... We're Gucci? Gonna have to spin that a little bit. Like so. 
Wait. No, you just have to do uh, contests. Contests. Uh, what? Sorry, I missed something. Uh, restore the crane. Let's go. Uh, question for time trials: If you get a gold, does it have? Does it give you more map completed than bronze? That's the best way I can put it in the words. Uh, yeah, like uh, Savage said, you just have to complete it. Doesn't have to be even bronze. Just post any time, as long as you complete it, uh, you're good. Just post any time. Just go dead slow, unless you're like a completionist and you really, really want that gold. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Alright, so once I make this corner, I'm gonna put the crane over those metal beams. So they stay in there. It doesn't work well when you're cornering, but once we're out, we're just gonna pin them down like this. Perfect. Probably use this camera to to make sure we don't leave any fallen beams behind. I was gonna say we're cruising now, but all of a sudden we're not because there's a massive post. How did I miss that? Massive post in a way. Oh, now there's a now there's a tree. Oh my god, not going well here, is it? If you can, make the crane line up with the trailer hitch so it rotates evenly with the trailer. Oh yeah, that's a good... That's a good little tip, isn't it, Savage? I'm just thinking what I need to take to where. So we need medium pipes. One of the medium pipes in the two... Metal beams need to go to the other side. Wait, but they're all small pipes. So we need to craft... We need to craft two medium pipes in total. Oh, two small beams. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Two small... Uh, two, two small pipes and two metal beams need to go there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gotcha. So what we need to take, what do we need to take there really? Only two small pipes we need to take there. And when I say there, I mean the to the place near the near the fuel station. Just thinking out loud, talking to myself. Soon I will finally have 605R. Yes, are you? Are you uh, just going to Amor to unlock it, Savage, or are you gonna go to complete the whole Amor and obviously get 605 while you're at it? What's the plan here, my man? I'm going to more to 100% it after I finish those three contests tonight. Oh my god. All I can say is good luck. All I can say is good luck, Savage. I'm about 68% at the moment and yeah, this region ain't easy. 
This region ain't easy. Okay. Right. Let's drop all the unnecessary stuff off. Yoink. 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 Yoink that as well. This goes in there. Just like... So. Beautiful. That goes like that. That goes... Oh no, I can't. I need to take those off. Like so. Because metal beams are heavy, so I'm struggling with those. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Oh my god, Mr. Metal Beams, you are so annoying. Get out of here. It has a little peel, but goes through it quickly, indeed. Play the first 150 hours of Snowrunner without uh, knowing that you can turn the diff lock off. Oh no, Matt, look. That, uh, that must have been painful. Okay, restore that. Yeah, that must have been painful, Matt, look. Right, these can wait. I could probably even get... How far? Yeah, I could probably even get... Um, what's that little truck called? Wait, I did not pack that. Uh, I could even probably get uh, the Brigadier out. Run it back and forth for me. Maybe even gonna be quicker, right? This Mastodon is... Capable of road, but it's not the quickest vehicle. We'll have a think about that. Keep hydrated, guys. Keep hydrated. Alright, so far, not too bad. We're doing not too bad. I might even... I don't want to jinx it. I jinxed it last time when we were doing block alpha. But I think we might even be able to do block beta today. I think we might be able to do block beta today, guys. I mean, what do we need to do? We take 
we take these small pipes over there where we will craft one two medium pipes because we need one medium pipe for crafting of the large pipe and the other medium pipe just needs to be dropped off uh, into the location I think I think it's doable I can't really see any I can't see any obstacles in our way to be honest at the moment I think we buy, might be good enough But it also might be famous last words. Hopefully not. But then there's uh, block gamma, isn't there? I think there's block gamma. There's one more leg of this factory rebuild, whatever this thing is. Mastodon just um, sometimes surprises uh, surprises me when it like really goes down a gears and it's almost like stopped for for no re well I shouldn't say for no reason but you probably know what I mean. Let's go refuel. It doesn't even feel any quicker without the trailer. It feels the same whether I'm towing the trailer or I'm not. It just feels the same, really. Okay. We're here. <clears throat> Let's refill. So, refill that, refill scan field trailer, refill the engine again, transfuse to the uh, scout field trailer, which is 900. Like, um, like Savage said, said, it's so thirsty, this truck. Uh, yeah, we're all filled up. <clears throat> Hello Ricardo. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, Ricardo. How are you doing today? Hopefully your day is going well, Ricardo. You play you playing uh, Watch Dogs Legion at the moment? Oh nice, how is how is that game? Is it good? Enjoying it? I never never really played any of the Watch Dogs, uh, not the first one and not the latest one either. I heard some uh, good things about it I guess. Right here we are, back to our trailer. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Attach the trailer. Off we go. Let's craft them bad boys up. They go in, in here. So unload, unload, craft, craft, and load and load. Nice. Very, very nice. 
Oh, damn. I should have loaded them, loaded the, uh, loaded those manually. Oh, well. It probably cost me 300 quid in fuel to load them manually. So, uh... Yeah, it's whatever. Oops, <laughs> yeah. A little oopsie. A little oopsie. Not a biggie. What do I have there? I have another eight slots of cargo there. Okay, let me bring the Brigadier. I wish Brigadier had a little trailer, but it doesn't, so... You know, it is what it is. <clears throat> like, out of which... Uh which uh, campaign are you playing at the moment on uh, which campaign are you playing on Gates of Hell I uh, wonder what this year will bring for us not on a yeah I'm super I'm super curious I mean we still have season 12 so after season 12 the best chance to hear anything else is another three months which makes it... Yeah, which makes it, uh, well, it can't be actually three months, it have to be like two months after season 12. We've been doing Conquest. Um, I haven't played Conquest. Um, refresh me, refresh me on that, like, uh, enlighten me. What's, what's Conquest? Is that two enemies going head to get, head to head on a map or? What's Conquest in that game? Because I've been playing like the, the, the campaigns, you know, like the uh, pre-built historically accurate kind of battles what is campaign like a campaign get economy and research points oh nice so, uh, so the more you progress through the battle, you get uh, you get like stronger units, right? And look stronger units. And a tech tree. Ooh, I might have to check conquest out. How many hours do you have in the game, Legato? Stop that there. Where's my uh, where's my little trailer though? Sideboard semi fuel carrier. Look, carriers. There isn't a trailer there. Why did I thought there's a trailer here somewhere? Fuel service. Mm -hmm, there isn't. Okay. I must have been dreaming. Uh, have to give troops ammo and whatnot and repair. Understood. You got 30 hours already. Oh, nice, Legato. Loving the game. I'll catch you up. Don't worry, I'll catch you up. Probably won't, actually. Still have Baldur's Gate to play. Snowrunner Baldur's Gate in the third game. Oof. I'm juggling now. I had like a little, I had like a little trailers to um, go with me so we can take two cargos. Boulders get. I have who knows how much. How many playthroughs did you do, Legato? Did you did you just do like one playthrough and, and left it there, or you have more? See, and that's what I mean about Brigadier. Look how fast it goes. Like, if, if we raced Mastodon with the Brigadier with, like, single slot of cargo, I have no chance. 
I still don't have no chance. This thing flies. Leave that there. Uh, I keep starting over. I have a bad habit of that with RPGs, really. Uh, so you mean you, uh, after playing a bit, a bit, you kind of start thinking, oh, what's the? Uh, wonder what the other character is and and stuff like that, or or what's the? Like, tell me why why you keep restarting it. Back. Too many characters. Yeah, yeah. Too so you want different classes to try. Totally get that. Totally get that. I just finished the time trial. It took me uh, nine minutes. That's that's fine, Matlab. Don't worry about it. it. Takes it takes however long it takes. Um. It still counts. Still counts as uh, as a finish, you know. And we'll give uh, we'll give Brigadier one one beam. See how he does with one beam. If he loses it, then it's fine. If he loses it, it's just fine. Maybe we'll give one small pipe to start with. If we like place it correctly, might make it, you know, might make it. We'll try and place it as evenly as possible to give it a best chance. Like so. I mean, I wouldn't call it even, but there. I mean, that has to be it, right? I right, wish me luck. I'm going. I don't know. It might be okay. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Might be okay. Might be. Uh, might be. Might be ending in tears. It'll be, it'll be fine. Oh no, I already have a little wobble there. A little wobble. If we lose it, then it's fine. We'll scoop it up. Good wipes only. <laughs> Had a little wobble already. Elgato, uh, Elgato, Legato. Why did I say Elgato? Elgato is my capture card. Not a person. Legato, Elgato. I mean, that's similar though. Oh, you, 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 you. No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay. We tried. It wasn't even that far. Maybe I uh, took it a little bit too too fast there. Okay. It's closer to the destination, though. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Exactly. God damn it. But look how fast this thing goes. Master would be still halfway up the road. Right? Little brigadier taking no prisoners. Top ten saddest moments. Definitely, uh, definitely top ten. Pretty sad. Right, uh, we'll do. 
let's think about it. Let's do so. There's hmm, yeah. I mean, need to do at least one more to make to make it easier for Mastodon. Because he has two small beams. Small beams, small pipes, I meant. Surprised not done today? Yeah, probably don't. Uh, I would imagine he's probably like playing uh, Baldur's Gate with his friends, or I think he's doing a couple of playthroughs one with his wife, one with his. Uh, one with, with his friends, although the uh, he already done like two or three playthroughs with his wife, so yeah, they're pretty they're pretty hardcore on the boulders gained. Pretty hardcore. Looks, uh, that field trailer looks like somebody had an accident there. Look, it's just in a ditch. Also, um, the engine of Brigadier sounds like a bag of bolts, literally. Literally sounds like a bag of bolts. sure yeah definitely yeah uh, looks like it's like running on empty with no oil or something I don't know you tell me <clears throat> I will probably do we'll probably try again right I have to try again to do cargo bits Got, uh, got the rod knock, yeah. The rods are knocking. Uh, small pipes, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pack. Pack that cargo and we put a little. We put a little, little something, something on top, which is a mud beams. I mean, I don't. I think it matters how evenly we, evenly we place it on top, we just need to be a bit more careful on how we drive it. That's the, uh, that's the whole spill there. Drive it more carefully. It's pretty good, I think. Have a little, little touch up. Oh, maybe too much. Perfect. Right. Stop that there. Oh, maybe it's a little bit, uh, a little, maybe a little bit wonky, but we'll see how far we got with it. Oh, wow, doing wheelies there. I guess it's a little, I guess it's a little heavy. Up the hill, no problem flying actually actually flying up the hill All right, take it super easy through here because that's where we lost it
It was my birthday yesterday, but um, but yours today because on how the time zones work. Okay, congratulations, uh, Matlock. Congratulations uh, and a happy birthday. Right, I think we made it through there with ease. The last hurdle, we can lose it here. Ah, we're fine. It's like it's glued to the top or something, right? It's like it's glued. Super glued. Okay, we have arrived. Open the gates. Let us in. Man, this place is a mess. Need a yard supervisor to sort it out. It's a mess. What truck is this? John, this is a GMC Brigadier. Beauty. Ooh, hopefully it's gonna pack. Yes, nice. It's a beauty. Ew. <laughs> Don't say ew. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's gorgeous. You want to see the interior? Oof, look at that wooden dash finish. No ew at all, Chan. It's beautiful. Gorgeous, even. <laughs> Chan says ew. It's an ugly duckling. D ugly duckling, isn't it, Chan? Ugly duckling. I love how Jen just goes, ew. Wood green for days. The truck, the truck is almost like as ugly as my mental state. Oh. Oh. Come on, Jen. I'm sure your mental state is more beautiful than this truck, yes. I agree. That's how we that's how we're gonna angle it. Avoid the massive boulder, please. Avoid that massive boulder, please. Mustn't forget to pick up the scraps that the brigadier left. Somewhere along the way. I don't believe we're gonna finish this mission today. Oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. Two block betas. No, two uh, block alpha and block beta. Oh, thank you, Chan. You don't have to, buddy. You don't have to thank you for the donation, though. You don't have to, Chan. I know you're beautiful without uh, without any money that you pay me, but I do appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. All right, um, restore that. Let's go. I'm gonna load that on uh, Brigadier anyway, so I don't want it to be super tidy anyway. Chan dropping donations left, right, and center. Gonna spend, gonna spend that money on um, on pimping, on pimping, Chan not pimping. Uh, uh, yeah, South gonna African gonna take it to pimp my ride chat. and nice. Gonna ask him to to spruce up the brigadier so it looks better for you next time, Chan. 
We'll put some uh, neon lights underneath or something, you know. I don't know what they do in Pimp My Ride. I'm sure they put subwoofer in the back, right? Do you think any can be better than the FEM? Uh, if we're not looking at the mods, nothing can be better than the FEM. Off-road capability, super... Uh, towing super heavy trailers, nothing can be... Nothing can be better, Chan. Only... Only sort of... Um, caveat, right? Is... It cannot... It cannot have uh, any logging attachments. So if you're looking to do logging, then uh, FEM is not the one, you know? But uh, anything else? That truck is the most capable. Uh, unpack the cargo, give him the metal beams. <clears throat> like, I can do like a million and one test. And that truck will just come out on top every single time. I'm not confident with this though. Uh, somebody commented on one of my YouTube videos saying uh, I do all these tests in like uh, test environments and stuff like that, but how does it perform in real life? I mean, we've done a couple of streams and I literally towed the super heavy trailer through like the the swamp where most of the trucks would drown and the fam just persevere. Uh, does it pull trailers up the hill? Yeah, it has the most powerful engine in the game, even more powerful than the dairy special. So it's just win-win situation with that truck, really. Also, if you, some people don't like articulated steering because it takes getting used to. So that's another thing. But that's you know, if if you've driven Cat 745C, if you've driven the as of for 2020 Antarctic, then you'll be fine with that. Since they added a trailer hitch to the FEM, uh, which has. Um, Trailer hitch to FM, which has a slot bed. I hope twin steers which becomes functional. Uh, what do you mean? Um, FEM always had, FEM always had the, uh, FEM always had the hitch, four slot cargo bed and a hitch. But I know what you mean. Like, why can't twin twin steer now have it, right? Twin steer absolutely should have it as well then. The other thing about FEM is, uh, I think they they could easily get had, they could easily could have, easily could have had a four slot cargo bed plus the crane on the back like the Mastodon does, like you know, rear mounted crane. But I think because there's plenty of space on the frame, but I think they just opted out not to do it because then it would be just too powerful. So three slot cargo bed and a, and a uh, damn it. 3 slot cargo bed and a trailer still thing. Just rushed into that, didn't I? Now I'm paying the price. Uh, I tested the Sterling T26 and it's surprisingly not overpowered. Oh, okay, so it's, it's balanced, Chan? I'm glad to hear it's balanced. I thought that's gonna be like crossing the mountains for that. Did Chan, did you manage to. Um, Download the polygon map or not? You ask me where I use uh, where I test the trucks. Do you manage to, uh, do, to do that or not? Damn! I wish I didn't damage the engine there, but silly goose mistakes, I guess. Silly goose mistakes. You tested it on a polygon map, nice. Uh, let's offload that. Unloading cargo. Boom. Large pipe. Craft. Large pipe load. Fem is the new season truck. Yes, it is. Uh, Legado. Yes, it is. The articulated steering giant of a truck I don't know that's the, probably the best I can describe it it's absolutely obnoxiously big all 
Right, let's go to uh, deliver the pipe while uh, still have fuel on board, right? Yeah, it's even bigger than the Kenworth 963 Legato. The new biggest truck in the game. It looks like a big Chungus. Because it is a big Chungus, that's why. Looks like one, smells like one, it is one. Yeah, cause I can't believe we are actually going to complete block beta today. Block alpha is done and now block beta. Oof. Uh, 963 still has the highest saddle by half an inch though. That means nothing. <laughs> if you can't go up the hill. You have a high saddle, you have a heavy trailer in the back and you can't go up the hill. Means absolutely nothing. If it was a big difference, then yeah, I'd say it's, it's makes a difference, but... Um, home block beta... Let's not damage the truck anymore. Um, Sorry guys, I'm just reading something. Um, I'd probably limit myself to how much I use it, to be honest. I don't know, I'll, I'll see. I uh, said I'm not going to use Kenworth much, but then in, in British Columbia I just use it for scouting and stuff. Because <laughs> why not? Because why the hell not? That feels good. That feels good. 24 grand. That's probably not even gonna pay for the fuel. <laughs> awesome work, thank you. By the way, logging in Wisconsin is annoying and all, but uh, sinkhole in Grand Woods River can screw off. <laughs> Wisconsin is a hard map, man. Give yourself, give give yourself some credit, Savage. It's a hard map. Um, bum, 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 bum. All right. So the next next thing we're gonna have to do, which is not gonna be today, but the next thing we're gonna have to do is. Fix the master on right, because the engine's busted. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, we'll have to do that, but... Hey, Alex. Hello, hello. Long time no seen, Alex. How are you, buddy? Yeah, next thing we're gonna have to do is a block... What's lifeline? Large pipes to what? Oh, uh, Cosmodrome, okay. Oh my god, it needs quite a bit two concrete slabs yeah it's gonna require a lot of a lot of a lot of crafting again it's okay we're fine with that we have the uh, we have the uh, strat figured out now how to do everything so it's fine 67 percent in a more we're getting there guys we're getting there slowly but surely all right guys do you want to do do you, you want to see a little fem test while we before we log off or or you rather wait till season 12? You guys want to do a little fam test or no? What are you guys saying? 
Uh, bum, 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 Erska River. Where was that dead snow here? Yeah, sounds good. Anyone else? Some dead. There's some. Uh, there's some really good dead snow here. Sure. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me just quickly jump into. Let me just quickly jump into um, my epic account. <clears throat> we'll do a little showcase of them so you guys can see it. There's some uh, in a more. There's some dead smoke. Uh, there's some dead snow near the garage. It's gonna be a good, uh, I think, good comparison for you guys. We can test 605R and the FEM um, and see what's what. Also, get uh, get your stopwatches out, guys. You're gonna have to time it. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, where are we? <clears throat> I don't even know which one to load. This one probably. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Don't ask me. On global map. A mirror, jump in a mirror. <clears throat> right, uh, truck store, truck store. Let's sell these bad boys. Uh, we'll keep master on truck store. Explore the world to unlock this truck. Oh, damn it. Wrong. Hold on, guys. Wrong, uh, wrong account. <laughs> uh, that one. Bum, 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 bum. Stop watch ready. Thank you, Alex. All right, retain this bad boy. And let's just jump in a more. Okay, let's get some trucks ready. Of heavy duty, let's get the 605R. Um, let's make sure it has most powerful engine. Um, gearbox, suspension stock, and that's stock as well. Okay. All right, let's take it down. Let's take it down to the testing grounds. I see patch ahead. Also, I haven't trust, uh, tried them in the breakable ice. I wonder how it doesn't breakable ice. We'll have to check it out, right? Alright, so with this part here, I don't know, you guys, if you played the more, you guys are familiar. This place here has the most horrible, horrible um, dead snow there is and like ice and stuff. So let me know when you're ready guys. Let me know when you're ready Alex. On a third honk of the horn, start the timer please. Ready? Okay, on the third honk. Let's go. 
So we're not gonna like change it too much in terms of um, yeah the wheel spin is, is great already and this is like considered good going as well by the way most of the trucks well all of the trucks wouldn't make it because this is just horrible through here I'll even put it in low medium to sort of minimize the the wheel spin. This is the most horrible terrain you can get. Okay, we'll measure it. Uh, I remember why I had the Moria. We'll measure it. Uh, we'll measure it to the to the to the what you call it when we bump into the. Radio tower, not radio, electricity tower. Oh no. Damn it, I got stuck. Guys, I got stuck already. I got stuck with 605. Oh, hey, hey, Philly. How are you doing, buddy? Just running some tests. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely legato. Dang is real. Like the most powerful off-road truck in the game. Allegedly. Look how it struggles through here. It's horrible, isn't it? Absolutely horrible. I'm doing very good. Just been very busy lately. How about you? Um... I'm all right. I'm all right, Philly. Uh, things are things are slow, I guess, but uh, life is good. I can't complain. Yeah, we're just getting stuck, guys, on the routes and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe this test is not very uh, accurate, you know. How's the how's the family, uh, Philly? Is the family, all right? Truck fail. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're out. Oh, for a little bit. Yeah, the, the trees are kind of snagging our ass up. Okay, we're gonna detect. We're gonna detect ten seconds because we got stuck. All right, stop the time. So we're gonna deduct 10 seconds uh, because uh, we got stuck a couple of times on the trees and you know could have could have been helped by a better driving so Alex if you can deduct 10 seconds please 259.72 that's with the deduction okay so now we're gonna log out out of the game to reset the terrain so 249 thank you Alex Alright, so we logged out. And now we're gonna try the fem. I haven't tried this. It might be horrible. Might be even a bigger fail. I haven't tried this guys. But let's uh let's find out together, right? Nothing better. Where is the where's the fem? Alright, most powerful engine, fine-tuned gearbox. MSH twos. Um diff lock. Yes, sir. Forget the um, forget anything really. We we ran the other truck without any. We ran the other truck without any uh, anything, so we're just gonna make it look cooler. Like we're gonna have this this front bumper that looks awesome, and we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it gray like this or dark i guess uh i was fk for a bit uh, what are we doing so we're testing um we're testing 605r against the fem in like a dead snow scenario Might be even might be even slower guys. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's better. 
I haven't tried this. I'm hoping it's better. Also, we're gonna try this on breakable ice afterwards. I haven't tried this unbreakable ice. Whether because some trucks are able to dug, dig themselves out from when they break through the ice. Why do they have to give all the big trucks such a shitty horns? It is a crappy horn, isn't it? Thing is a monster. Something along those lines, yeah. Something along along those lines. It doesn't do well on ice, though. None of the trucks do, right? Doesn't do well on ice. We'll try and take the similar path uh, to the 605R. Is there any release date for season 12? So they haven't confirmed the date, but like a very, very, very strong uh, suggestions that has been made that it's two weeks from now. So beginning of Feb. Uh, we are doing well. Baby's getting big. I uh, can't believe she will be seven months this weekend. Very nice. I'm glad everything is going really well and she's healthy. Thanks for uh, thanks for the update, Philly. I'm really happy for you, buddy. Uh, it literally looks like if Antarctica 963 had a child. Yeah, I agree. Look at this thing. It looks badass, doesn't it, though? Look. Um, Alex is ready. Thank you, Alex. Uh, look at it, like the back wheels gone up the ground and it's in an extreme angle. It's just a cool, cool looking thing, isn't it? Just a cool looking thing. Okay, anyway, Alex is ready. On a, on a third, on a third honk, honk, Alex. Ready? See how that does. So far, so good. So far, so good, guys. Also struggles. I think slightly better. It's like a monster truck. Oh no, I also got stuck on the tree. It started really strong. Oh no, the trees. Both trucks got stuck on trees, so... Unsurprising. <laughs> Be right back in the fun, my job. Yeah, both trucks are getting stuck on trees, that's for sure. Can't even see what it's getting stuck on, to be honest, so... I can't... Oh, I think we're past it now, nice. Not that quicker. So I think any truck struggles with this terrain. Yeah, not that quicker, I think. It's gonna be pretty pretty close. Probably didn't drive it. Yeah. Okay. What's the time? What's the time, Alex? I think it's better. Devs really took a look at the mods and said, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ronald. Hello, buddy. 158. Even got stuck on some trees, so we, if we deducted like uh, 10 seconds, then then it would be 148. So one, what, the whole minute better, right? You know what I mean, guys? I mean this this is the this is the most difficult terrain in the game, Prop, like breakable ice, trees, you name it. So no wonder it got stuck a couple of times. Look like now I got stuck on tree. But once you like break the trees. Oh man, the trees are 
Oh, here we go. Once you break the trees, I think like you're golden. Yeah, n like no tr like even 605R is. This terrain is just too much for them. I think I'm got stuck on some roots or whatever, so let's not go that way. Let's not go that way. Even for this truck, look how deep that is. This thing would make the tree in the mandra tremble. <laughs> A normal terrain is just obviously child's play for this truck. Like normal snow is just, yeah, it's not even. So imagine like you're carrying four slots of cargo, whatever. And you just decided to take a shortcut through like here, right? Like any truck would struggle through here. Nope. Not this thing. Little trees. Get out of my way. Yeah, this thing is just on another another on another level really. Like forget forget getting stuck with it. It's not gonna happen. Not going to happen. Oh, but you can still fall over. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Uh, let's try it on a. Let's try it on a breakable ice, shall we? Uh, I can't wait for season twelve to be released. I hope it's not a hard uh, to get. It's a little bit hard to get, Alex, uh, but I'll make a video about it. Well, it's already made, to be honest. But obviously, I'm going to release it when um, when the season releases. Um, so yeah, just uh, just obviously follow the follow my guide if you want. But it's a little bit. It's not. It's like not straightforward to get. It's a little bit hard to get. Let's try it on the ice, shall we? It's it's not that tippy though. It's not that tippy. I'm not doing I'm not doing any uh, any sort of justice. I didn't drive it well there. Okay, let's try let's try it on a breakable ice because we know some of the trucks are not able to dig themselves out when they break through break through the ice, right? So let's try that. It's moving. Mm, I don't think breakable ice is an issue as well, to be honest. Seems like breakable ice is uh, not an issue for it. Because it's like it's so high, right? Like it doesn't get high centered on that. Yeah, it just crawls. It's not obviously it's not gonna go fast on the ice, but it just crawls. <laughs> it just don't care. Yeah, I don't think it cares much. Uh, I gotta head out. Hope you have a good rest of the stream. Yeah, I'm not gonna stream for long. I'm just gonna we're just gonna do a little test here and there and. Uh, and we also gonna head out to Legato, so thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Okay, what about... What about, like, rocks and stuff? 
Oh yeah, what rocks? <laughs> yeah, what rocks? Look forward to Thursday. Yeah, me too, Legato. I'll see you there, buddy. Yeah, once you get the dip lock engaged, it's uh I think too much wheel spin, right? There. I think that's like the sweet spot in the breakable lines. Hmm. I think that's the sweet spot. I don't think you can get it. I don't think you can get this truck stuck. To be honest, that's my uh, honest opinion. Hmm. That is my final opinion. You can get it. You can get it tipped over, <clears throat> but I don't think you can get it stuck. <clears throat> it just moves. Obviously, I'm not doing it here. I'm not doing it any favors driving like an idiot here, but... I think you get what I mean, guys. I think you get what I mean. not too much of a problem for it as well I think I mean you can still get it tipped over it's not uh, the most stable in the world but rocks don't really stop it it's a good uh, field of rocks coming over here how deep is this I wonder Although I don't have no snorkel. Oh, it's not deep at all. Away for me to climb up. <laughs> it just drinks water. I don't even have a snorkel. Once you have a snorkel in it, you can go fully submerged. You can go fully submerged when you have a snorkel in it. Jesus, just look at it. It just doesn't need roads, does it? it? Just doesn't need roads, this thing. Actually, this is a bit extreme what I'm doing, but... My 
bumper is wedged. Okay. We'll go to the left then. Just this, you just make you just make roads up with this thing. I don't think any truck's been here from SnowRunner Universe. You just kind of make roads up, don't you? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's what I mean, Alex. You just make roads up. Oh no, I got so high centered a little bit. That might be my... Uh... Oh no, we're fine. <laughs> just make... Sh just make shit up with this truck. Drinks too much fuel. Yeah, in the no commentary in the new in the new update, uh, this truck is uh, the fuel at, um, the fuel consumption has been adjusted, so it's gonna be a less less thirsty, you know. Yeah, like Alex is just unbelievable. This truck, really. Can it submarine though? Shall we try? Shall we try the submarine mode? Let's try the submarine. I literally struggle how easy it drives through everything. It's like a modded truck. It is. It's very close to a modded truck, yeah. That's like steep, right, guys? So I'm not like, I'm not exaggerating. That's like steep. Like, Kenworth would have no power to get up to here. This thing, on the other hand. Plenty of power. Most powerful engine in the game, guys. Most powerful engine in the game. Look at the angle it's climbing. Has any trucks been here before? Damn this. Obviously, this rocky terrain has like no traction now, so kind of rip, but yeah. Go scouting with it if you want, guys. Not a problem. Yep, damn is right. Okay, let's try last uh, last thing before we switch off. So we go snorkel and we go the highest snorkel there is. Okay, can it submarine though? Can it submarine? I've done like so many of these tests with this truck and they just keep surprising me. I'm back, you're still IPA? Thank you. Submarine mode activated for sure. Submarine mode activated. Even without a dip lock, it just moves. I think diff lock is kind of necessary for this truck. Coming through. Alright, let's uh, let's submarine, guys. Let's do the submarine. Is the update out already? No, not yet, Travis. Uh, it's coming out in two weeks. Two weeks, Travis. Not long. Not long now.
It is thirsty though, but we have what we have on the on the roof rack, like 140 liters. So you know, it will will get you out of the sticky situation, I guess. Oh, hey, Don. Hello, hello, buddy. Sorry, I'm super late. Yeah, we're about uh, we're about to finish, Don. But no worries, buddy. I get I get life. Life throws the curveball. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Stuck on the sticky patch. Damn, see if big update is tomorrow. I'm excited for that one. Do you, oh, that game still updates stuff. Nice. So can it submarine is the question. Uh, I don't know. So far we're submarining. I don't. I didn't know that's not. I didn't know that's not uh, that deep. To be honest, we need a deeper patch. He's an eleven for them. Oh wow. That game has been a huge success, right? I don't think we can find. Uh, Deep enough patch here. Wait, so in Amor you just go through water. So in Amor you just go through water, you don't even bother. We just go to White Valley, uh, White Valley, real quick. Okay, let's do it. Uh, White Valley. Uh, what is White Valley? Uh, it's locked. Uh, it's locked for me because this is, remember, this is a new save, uh, Savage. This is the new save, so Savage. Uh, I'm just thinking, is there... Just thinking about easy... I'm just thinking about easy crossings. Maybe here, Ontario. We'll try Ontario quickly. Yeah, this is a new save, obviously, because I'm just trying stuff out. So, um, let's try one one thing real quick. I think there's like a crossing immediately here somewhere. gonna be in the right here somewhere right this thing uh, is blazing fast Okay, so that's not gonna be wait, that's not gonna be very deep, is it? Oh no! Oh Again, round two. This thing sure is blazing fast. Nap time. Sleepy trucks. I mean it's blazing fast where it needs to be, right? And I'm obviously being careless with it. I think sleepy time is sleepy time is um, this truck's Achilles heel uh, Achilles heel right? Okay, I need to, we need to try the deep waters right? That's what we need to do. Round two, round two. The one that kills the tree. Not this time, anyway. Oh, bad driver. Bumping every tree. Here we go. 
Oh, the cab got stuck. Not the cab, but like the, the bed. Okay, we're out. Okay, no sleepy truck this time. Okay, so for example, we want to go to that island there. Oh, that's gonna be way deeper, I can tell already. Deeper only. Yeah, yeah, you tr uh, true, true, done. Uh, definitely better to go in first person. The trees can make a. It's gonna make a nightmare. So this truck can go like full, like fully submerged. Only the roof rack needs to be like visible. Dangerous. Now we're still okay. So this little island we can make no problem. Oh, somehow it just gets quite shallow here. Oh, this is now like too heavy. Yeah. Too deep there. <laughs> too deep there. Oh, massive ditch there. It's like on purpose, so you can't do this. Balanced. Balanced. The fem, the fem has been balanced. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I mean, if you scout it, you could easily cross like there, 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 up to the, here. Okay, so I chose unknowingly. I chose the heaviest part. But you get the... You get the general gist, guys, of this truck. Yeah, Twin Steers definitely still has something over it. Wait, why am I? Oh, because I can't repair it. Well, joke's on you because I have a second one. Joke's on you, game. I have two of them. Alright, one more little test. There was a crossing here. I can't remember now exactly where it was. I'll try to quickly find it. Why is the crane so far back? Because articulated steering, isn't it? Articulated steering. I wish the crane was on the back, like, uh, like Mastodon. I wish that was in the back, but... Uh, the only thing with this truck is... It kind... It kind of like... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of negates the areas you would normally wouldn't go into, right? That's like my only probably problem in the game. And with the game, with the with the truck, it's a little bit. Does it still have a big delay like the Antarctic? Uh, yeah, it has a bit of a delay. But if you if you're used to that, then no biggie, you know. No biggie then. Right. Are we gonna scout the surface this time? Nah, just send it. Wait, that's not even that deep. But like, no, like normally it's not near. Like, imagine you're like in a in a tega. You wouldn't like go up these don't go up these like slopes, or you wouldn't wouldn't do this crossing. This truck is just like ah, eh, I'm gonna do a shortcut. You need to go all the way around here to get to this part. Nah, just. Just use the fam, just cross it through the water. Just look for the slightly slightly less deep deep patch and you'll be fine. Just use that thing. But I'm gonna be using it a lot. Don't get uh, don't get it mistaken. 
Don't get me mistaken, I'll be using that thing a lot. It's, li it's like the end game truck, indeed. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I climbing that? For no reason. Kind of ruins the whole SnowRunner vibe. It can, it can, yeah. But they made they made research, believe it or not. I don't know if you heard about this, and a lot of people enjoying the easy maps. So for them, it's only natural to release easy trucks, right? Players will buy those. Players will buy those because these things sell, you know. bit of tree hugging there oh I think I got stuck now unless I break the tree probably not gonna happen Might be okay. No, we're okay. Damage? Nah. Don't worry about it. I got stuck between the trees. Uh, you're not forced to use it absolutely you're not so I remember when I first I think there was logging that we needed to do and I was like wondering oh my god do I really have to go all the way across with all these logs see if uh, by trailer see if this um See if this is doable. No way this is doable. It's doable, guys. It's absolutely doable. What now? No way. No way, Jose. We need to stick a bit to the left. <laughs> Engage the sonar. No way, Jose. This is actually doable. And I haven't taken damage because... What? Oh my god. That's like cheating, right, guys? That's a cheat. I haven't taken a single damage. I mean, what now? Holy moly, that's that's new. Just like who needs roads kind of thing, isn't it? This is some uh this is some crazy stuff. Go weird places, yeah. Places no one ever been. So you kind of a, it's a this truck should be should be called like a pioneer truck, right? Because you go places nobody has been. Like in the lake, exactly. Like in the middle of the lake. If 
not cumbersome though. To be expected for that size, of course. Uh, this thing has no special tires, uses MSHs. Yes, absolutely done. Uses MSHs. Oh, this is the first 10 damage we took? Okay. So I guess I took a easier path last time. Although I didn't get out the bottom. Yeah, it had just uses MSHs. Don't yeah, that's correct. Yeah, well, this thing is like truly insane. You just, you just go, oh, what, whatever, 10 points. You just go, you just go, uh, yeah, just repair that. Never happened. It's like, oh no, I need to go. Like little Timmy, little Timmy. Oh no! I just need to need to cross this thing here. Little Timmy needs to cross it. Just send it. Little Timmy needs to cross the lake. Don't worry about it. It doesn't really like. It doesn't really stop. To be honest, for nothing. It just goes. Little Timmy never loses with this truck. Little Timmy doesn't lose with this truck. Like Don said, you just make your own roads. It's like, oh, the slope is in the way. Oh, okay, now actually. Can't go there, the bumpers. The bumper said no. The chin, the chin is too strong. But yeah, you get the point, guys. You get the point. <laughs> Needs active suspension. Active chin. Needs an active chin. Maybe with winch? Yeah, probably. Active chin suspension? Perfect. Sounds amazing. Where do I pre-order? get stuck just now. I don't know how. Let's wriggle our way out of it. How dare you? How dare you be sleepy? Get up. Probably won't. Wait, why, why is it? Is the crane being a little, a little jerk, jerky crane. There we go, like that. It's 
bin ich errönt. And push. Push it really good. No, it can't. Tiny cranium. Okay. Enough is enough. Um And don't forget you can carry eight, eight cargo slots with it, easily. Yeah, Mastermind looks like a baby compared to it. It's like a baby. I don't think I have Kenworth here, do I? No. Let's put up, uh, let's put up again, or North Carolina, British Columbia, multi garage, talking and talking. Indeed. Uh, truck storage, truck store. It's heavy, isn't it? I think it's heavy, isn't it? Do 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 do. Okay, truck storage. Deploy this bad boy. But like, depending how many add-ons and customizations, if I might take the ground from both six, it has it has all the add-ons um, except the except the uh, oh, oh, except the seismic and all the logging. Yeah, even Kenworth looks like a baby compared to it. And that's Kenworth with the 71 inch tires. I don't have the bore, I don't think. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Truck storage. Pardon me. Truck storage, uh, British Columbia, multi garage. I don't think I have it, but I'll check. <laughs> Wait, where's the four? Is it heavy? Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have that DLC on this account. Mm, but talking about talking about uh, add-ons, we'll have a quick run uh, rundown for you. Um, done, and we'll show you the add-ons. Oh, what? damn, I don't have the customization in this unlocked that garage. So, truck storage, boom. Okay, so, so, um, heavy crane, the little shitty crappy crane. Obviously roof rack, the four slot cargo bed that cannot have the crane, but you can you can have the uh, the trailer. Long flat bed that obviously goes with the little crane at the front, three slot. Um, maintenance, sideboard three slot, fuel tank, water tank, a high saddle. Oh yeah, by the way, it can't kind of have a low saddle as well. So yeah, it has it has some limitations. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but for example, for example, this combo, that's decent amount. Yes, yeah, it's, it's I think it's enough for cargo hauling. But this combo is purely insane to me. If you go to the to the thing. Oh, by the way, new um, new trailer, Donna. Uh, Donna, I don't know if you knew. Um, it's 
that's the old five slot. This is the new five slot with the three axles, so less less snagging. Less snagging action. Yeah, but that that combo is insane. Eight slot cargo. Can't mean Probably can't cross this, right? Yeah, you can't. It's deep. They saw it coming. Oh, yeah, it's deep. Nice. They went out of the way to design the propellers, which we're never gonna see. Nice. Props to them. Super deep. Yeah. Oh! A fish. <clears throat> anyway. Right. I think that's where we're going to end it today, guys. Um, probably going to do... Uh, tomorrow, probably going to do... Boulder's Gate. Um... Probably gonna do Baldur's Gate tomorrow, and Thursday we're gonna be doing Gates of Hell, uh, the World War II RTS game. Uh, I'll put up, I'll put up the, um, I'll put up on the community post. I'll put the uh, little schedules for the stream so you guys can see it coming. Today's was wasn't scheduled, but uh, decided to stream, so so that's good. Uh, I had loads of you tuning in earlier, so that was really cool. Thank you for catching the end of the stream, Don. That was that was fun. Glad to glad to share the uh, the fam with you guys as well. You can see how amazing that truck is gonna be. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you guys soon. Well, soon. Well, I mean tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, Bolter's Gate, and then uh, what Thursday is a set with uh, Gates of Hell. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.